Chess. Welcome back to another comparison video and today we got ourselves some Thai KFC as you can see by the title. I'm excited for this one. We got a lot of cool stuff. Let's just dive right in to this absolute deliciousness and see what the Thai KFC has to offer. All right, we are trying the spicy chicken pops. Correction, these are chili cheese pops. Their spice has a really good flavor here. Wow. And it's crunchy and soft. That's not, that's not bad. That's pretty dang good. And then we are going to try their chicken roll. Look at this thing. This looks absolutely delicious. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Mm. That's pretty fire. That's pretty fire. We like to keep it quick here. So we're hopping on to the next thing. We got a shrimp donut. So random KFC. I don't know why. Like it's not even chicken. It's a shrimp donut. Like shrimp inside of a deep fried crust shaped like a donut with a hole. Serves a purpose, you know. And crunchy. That's pretty fire. Tastes how you think. It's like um, fried shrimp. Mm. And then we have the bun chicken. The chicken bun. It's just chicken in a hot dog topped with mayonnaise. And that's about it. That's delicious. You can't go wrong with the chicken bun. What's in the KFC mystery box, baby? It's finger licking good. We got chicken nuggets, finally. It looks like a McDonald's chicken nugget, but a KFC's chicken nugget, not near me. I don't have any of these. All right, I said that really weird. Around where I live in Chicago, I have not found a KFC with chicken nuggets, so I'm very excited to explore this new area of KFC that I've never been. And I'm very disappointed. It's just like a McDonald's chicken nugget. It's good. It's good. But that's literally a straight McDonald's chicken nugget. Not bad. But at least we can dive into the sandwich that's still stinking hot. Oh my gosh. This is the Zinger Burger. Absolutely a zinger. It's probably all going to fall out. Look at that. That looks pretty good on camera. Oh, hot. Oh. Oh, hot. That's very good though, holy crap. Jeez, I had to warm this up and made it so hot. Wow, that's actually pretty fire, other than the absolute burning sensation in my mouth that's occurring at this moment. On to the final three items, the Trace Amigos, the Trace Musketeers. My tummy is not having it at this moment, so excuse any um, gastrically noises you might hear. But check this out, we got a tuna corn salad. Let's try this, it actually looks pretty good. It looks good, the only problem is KFC serves it. So, it could be better, it could be a lot better. Up next we got the, not a pastel de nada, we got the egg tart. An egg tart, a pastry from KFC, let's see how it do. That's a fire pastry. It's like a pastel de nada. Have you ever had one of those? Portuguese pastry. And then, up next, we got Thailand's version of a famous bowl. We got the Zahab rice bowl here with chicken, onions, veggies, and white rice. Of course, there's gonna be white rice. That's all right, it's a little interesting. I prefer mashed potatoes instead of the white rice. That's good, it's good, you know, it's good. KFC, I'm gonna need a drum roll, please, for this rating. 7.8 out of 10 for Thai KFC. About like a C plus range. It was there, it was like, there were some pretty like bad things about the KFC, but then there was some good, but there wasn't like really good, so that's why we're gonna have to go with the C plus, 7.8 out of 10. All right, gotta get on a plane, gotta head back to the US, eat another American KFC and compare it. Let's see how it does. See you there, let's eat. We are here and we are here with the American KFC as you can see. KFC as you can see. The Thailand KFC came in at a 7.8. So we are here to dig in and we're gonna start off with my, we're starting off hot to be honest. I love the famous bowl, check that out. We got mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, popcorn, chicken. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. Mm. It's delicious. And that's as simple as it is, it's delicious. Moving on to the next item, mac and cheese right here. Okay, that's enough, let's just eat it. It looks pretty good, but 
If I recall, yeah, it's good. It doesn't have like a lot of flavor. It's pretty good. Now y'all gotta check this out. Look at this thing. I got a pot pie. I didn't know it was gonna be this big. It's the size of my sneaking head. I mean, this could feed a whole family. I guess we gotta dig in. Very thick crust. Doesn't wanna break through, but we're working on it. Oh, look at that. That's a good bite right there. It's actually pretty good. I'm not a big fan of pot pie, to be honest. That's like not bad. It's just, I don't like the breading. The breading gets mushy. Mm, it's pretty good. Next, popcorn chicken. We love popcorn chicken. Check this out. Right? Mm, uh. We like popcorn chicken. All right, I saved one of my favorites. Look at this thing. They have the fattest chicken patties. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. KFC is a great, great chicken sandwich if you haven't tried it before. Mm, so good. The Colonel's cookie. Let's see how it is. It's pretty small, to be honest. I'm kind of disappointed, but can't go wrong with a chocolate chip cookie. All right, that is it. We are moving on to the rating. That was a pretty successful KFC little mukbang from America. So let's see how it is in the rating. Drum roll, please. <laughs> 8.8 out of 10. Killed it. Killed it. I don't want to hear anything else. That was very, very good. It wasn't as many items as the Thailand KFC. You know, that's where it did defer, where the Thailand KFC kind of, you know, fell off because they had more ups and downs because there's more items, but that was just like all pretty solid food from American KFC. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go down below. Comment chicken. Just go comment chicken, all right? Just go comment chicken. I don't know. We're eating lots of chicken, so I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Deuces.